Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. One that's an interesting update to the story we covered recently when Snoop Dogg revealed that he didn't like Tupac's hit him up and those who called out Snoop Dogg weren't gonna let this slide as a song has resurfaced that some believe contradicts Snoop Dogg's statement. More on this in a bit. Today we also have the latest report on the biggest hip hop songs of the week. And while this is a new week, the reactions stay the same when it comes to acts like Eminem and we'll get to more on this in a bit. Today we also have more on the war between AI and artists and earlier this month Eminem was caught up in what looks to be the biggest spat so far when UMG went after a creator who used AI synthesized Eminem vocals for a cat rap video. Check this out. Universal Music Group has threatened a copyright infringement takedown against a YouTuber who used AI to make an Eminem voiced parody. The video went viral and hit mainstream shows like Last Week Tonight with John Oliver and UMG is taking this seriously. Check this out. UMG asks streaming platforms to block AI access and the next 18 months is gonna be wild as it would become only more difficult to tell the difference especially for artists with quote basic repetitive flows and lyrics but now Drake's vocals have been used to perform Ice Spice's viral hit Munch <laughs> Drake isn't having it and he's reacted on IG stories with this the final straw AI and on the shade rooms report of this the memes are already flowing I rock with Drake but 21 can you do something for me and this not sitting right with me Another user adds, Drake would definitely rap some ish like this. It's all jokes. Why is bro mad when he sounds like that already? Skull emoji. But on a serious note, the user expands. No, seriously, that AI stuff is not funny and it can be dangerous. Moving on, Snoop recently revealed that he wasn't rocking with Pac's Hit Em Up. Even when he played Hit Em Up the song, I didn't like the song. Did you, yeah, did you feel like it was I too didn't like much? It. Right. I didn't like it. Like, like it was buying, you buying more problems, cuz. But Snoop's statement has led some on the internet to dig up old material on Snoop. Hence reports like, Snoop dissed Biggie. A clip from Snoop's recent Big Boy interview is going viral where he says he didn't like Tupac beefing with Biggie. And in particular, Pac's diss track hit him up. But in reality, Snoop also was throwing shots at Biggie on Wax back in 96. You're fat, you're black, you're whack, your style is tall, I'm plus she got one dead eye. And this has sparked split reactions. On one hand, some have defended Snoop. Keyword unreleased people. He probably did it just to please the death row family, but talked it because he didn't actually feel that way about Biggie. But on the other end, some are wondering Snoop telling lies again? More contradicting himself. They kept going, throw stones and high yo hands. And on this platform, people are revisiting the song to write essays about Snoop Dogg like this. Snoop is probably the most successful counterfeit to ever come out of death row. Back Background and creep affiliations aside, dude has hella questionable positions on several different topics. Some appear to be straight up lies, only Gene Deal is worse. The song Keep It Real Dog was officially released in the compilation album Death Row The Last Sessions Volume 1 in 2009, long after the fact. But what do you guys think? As some say, unreleased music should stay there. But this is technically incorrect since it dropped officially in 2009. You can find it on Spotify right now. But yes, it wasn't officially released when things were heated in the mid to late 90s. Moving on to the next point today, we got the latest report for the biggest hip-hop songs of the week. And Mockingbird dropped to number two following the release of Drake's Search and Rescue. And um... Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? And this has basically sparked the usual. Who the F frequently listens to Eminem in 2023 loudly crying emojis? And remember, now that they've run out of arguments, the next go-to is this. Those Eminem streams have to be bots. Eminem bathes in the tears of his critics to keep his youthful looks before he ships them out to get mined by hand. And some believe it's time people like this come to terms with reality. Eminem never won't be the most popular rapper in the world, ever. May as well deal with it, laughing emojis. But since the 2010s, here's a reaction fit for how it's been going. Drake and Eminem going crazy, what the F, lol. And some have concluded that these reports solidify Eminem's status. M has three songs over 10 years old on this list. If that's not GOAT status, then I don't know what is. I'll be looking forward to your thoughts on these topics in the comment section. Thanks for 
for watching, like and subscribe for more and see you on the next one.